All right, that's trying to determine the number of photons. So if we, if we said the rest, I mean the energy for the rest of photon is E rest equal to mc squared. Okay, m here is the mass of photons and c here is speed of light. And we can also say E equal to nhf. And that's the energy for photon. And here is the number of photons. H here is the Planck's constant. And F here is the frequency. If we derive deeper, it will give us NH times C divided by lambda. C is the speed of light. Lambda is the wavelength. So let's set E rest equal to E. Because we're trying to figure out the number of photons. That will give us mc squared equal to nh times c over lambda. Okay. If we move n on the left side, that will give us mc squared lambda divided by hc. So C cancel out, only one C left over on the top. So N is equal to MC lambda divided by H. So N equal to MC lambda divided by H. And that will give us so let's say the mass is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilogram. That's the mass for electron. The reason why we use the mass of electron is because it can kind of it can be kind of considered as photon because electron also emit light. You see those uh when you see some electricity spark out from your circuits from your wire, those are electrons. Those are tons of electrons em emitting light. Okay? So basically, you can consider electrons as photons. Okay, and C here is the speed of light, which is three times ten to the power of eight meter per second. Lambda is given, I believe, is six fifty nanometer. Okay, that's converted to meter, so six fifty times ten to the negative nine meter divided by h, which is the Planck's constant, which is six point six three times 10 to the power of a negative 34 times joule times second. Okay. So now if we do some calculation, we'll get answer is about 2.7 times 10 to the power of five. Okay. And that's our answers. The reason why there's no unit is because the un all units is cancel canceling out after its calculations. And thank you. That's my answer for this question.